Hi, welcome to Baby Goose. Today we're gonna have fun with bubbles and blocks. First we're gonna do bubbles, but I wanna introduce you to two people first. This is Cadence. Say hi, Cadence. Hi. And this is Hannah. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> so they're gonna help us with bubbles, and I'm gonna sing the song while they break bubbles. You ready, guys? One little, two little, three little bubbles. Four, here it comes. Little five, little six little bubbles. Seven little, eight little, nine little bubbles. Ten little bubbles go up, up, up. Okay, ready, Papa? Do some and we're going to pop them. Ready? Pop those, pop those, pop those bubbles. Pop those, pop those, pop those bubbles. Pop those, pop those, <laughs> pop those bubbles. Ten little bubbles go pop, pop, pop. Good job. Now we're going to do bubbles floating all around. Ready? Bubbles floating all around. Bubbles fat and bubbles round. Bubbles on my toes and nose. Blow a bubble, up it goes. Bubbles floating all around. Bubbles floating to the ground. Good. Lots of bubbles. That's fun of summer. Okay, you come on down and we're going to look behind us. And we're going to see some other bubbles. Who are these people? Bubble guppies. Bubble guppies. I don't know their names. Do you guys know their names? Yeah. That one's uh, Molly. Molly. Gil. Gil. Nani. 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 Um, we don't know that one's name? Yeah. Nani. And? Bubble Guppy. Bubble Guppy. Good job, Hannah. Okay, do you also see what's here? There's some bubbles. Let's count the bubbles. One, One. two, three, four, five. All right, we're going to do some math. We're gonna go five, get five, big bubbles floating all around until one popped and landed on the ground. Four big bubbles floating high and free, make it go high. Good job. Until one popped when it landed on a Tree. Three big bubbles floating quiet as a mouse until one popped when it landed on the mouse house. Two. Get two. Two big bubbles floated down to land until one popped. When it landed on my hand, one big bubble bubble still floated in the air until it popped. When it landed on my head, in my hair. That's funny, right? All right, we have a story. It's called Under the Sea, A B C, and there's lots of bubbles in this story. A is for anonymy. B is for big whale. C is for clownfish. Who's this? Uh, Nemo. 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 D is for dolphin. E is for eel. F is for fluted clam. See, that closes up. It opens and closes. Opens and closes. I is for ice fish. J is for 
Jellyfish. Good. K is for kissing Grammy. L is for, look at, he looks like a lion, a lionfish. Lion. M is for matcha ray. N is for nurse shark. Can it help me? O is for octopus. How many legs does an octopus have? One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, eight, nine, eight, eight. <laughs> P, oh, wait, just a minute. P is for puffer fish. Okay, now. Q is for queen conch. R is for regal tang. S is for seahorse. T is for turtle. I love turtles. U is for unicorn fish. Look at his nose. V is for vampire squid. Does he look scary? W is for whale shark. Hannah, you need to move back so everybody can see the book. Good job. X is for x-ray tetra. Ready? Y is for yellow boxfish. And Z is for zebra shark. Cool. And I think that's the end. So we saw lots of bubbles in the ocean. You want to read it? Okay. All right, today we are going to make something. That's why we're in the kitchen. So I'm going to bring this board over here. Can um, the beep come through? Can you read what we're going to make? We're going to make giant bubbles. Giant ones. But I can't put all of this in one pool because I don't have a pool. So I'm just going to do half the recipe. But if you have a child's pool at home, this would be great. Or a water table. That would be fun. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to start with water. Water. This water. Water. So the recipe called for 12 cups, but I'm only doing six cups. Six cups. One cup of dish soap. So Hannah, do you want to very carefully pour that in? Yeah. So I have half a cup. What color is it? Blue. Blue, right. Yeah, you want to turn? This is cornstarch. Whoa! <laughs> We're going to wear cornstarch. I think that's to thicken the bubbles. So this is cornstarch. I want, can I do that? Yeah, this, I got one more thing to do. And next we're gonna do baking powder. Baking. I'm not sure why they put in baking powder, but we're gonna do it. So it says two tablespoons, but we're just gonna do one. Hannah, do you wanna put that in? Good. And one more. I'm just using a teaspoon, but it needs to be a tablespoon. Oh, it's really cool what's happening. Can it's I? bubbling up. I'm going to stir it, okay, Hannah? Just because we have to do it really slowly. That's what the recipe says. Stir gently. Gentle, gentle. I think it's because it would make too many bubbles right away. And next it says, let's stand one hour. Just give me a moment. We're going to get all that cornstarch in there first, and then I'll let you have a turn. Okay. You have to do it very gentle. Can I have a there, turn We'll move too? the book so you can do it. Can I have a turn too? You sure can. Okay. Cadence, gentle, gentle. And here's another thing. If you don't have a wand at home, which I did, you can make them out of pipe cleaners. So you just take a pipe cleaner, turn the top over, give it a little twist, it becomes a circle. Blow, Hannah. 
and you can blow bubbles. Just dip it in and blow. <laughs> An easy wand. Okay, Hannah's turn. It's looking very beautiful. Easy to make at home because this is all things that you should have in your kitchen. I'm going to leave you have this. Well, not the bubbles, but you can make the bubbles at home. Nicely done. You want one more turn and then we'll put it away and we have to let it sit for one hour. And then maybe we can go outside and blow bubbles. Here, you're going to spill it. <laughs> Good job, everybody. All right, let's let it sit for a while. And then maybe we can do big bubbles. All right, I have another story. This is called Think Circles. What shape is a bubble? A big and round. Big and round, it's a circle. So this book is all about circles. One bouncing circle. What can it be? Think, then lift the flap to see. All right, we're gonna lift it. It is a? Beach ball. Beach ball, one beach ball. I'll move over a little. Two blinking circles. Can you blink? What can they be? Think. Then we lift the flap to see. Two panda eyes. Three flashy circles. What can they be? Think. Lift the flap and see. Three traffic lights. Four faraway circles. What can they be? Think. Then lift the flap to see. Four planets. There's the rocket to go to the planets. Planets. Five floating circles. What can they be? What are they? Bubbles. Five air bubbles. Pop, 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 pop. And who's the fish? No, I'm Nemo. Nemo. Okay, gotta turn the page. Six whirling circles. What can they be? Balls, yeah, six juggling balls. Who's this? A clown. A clown. Should we count? One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, there's two blue ones. You're right, Hannah. Seven juicy circles. Mmm, what can they be? It's growing on a tree. Apple. No, they're orange. Oranges. Oranges, that's right. Oh, I just saw a lemon. Eight colored circles. What can they be? <gasps> Paint. Let's do the colors. Or yellow. yellow green, orange. Brown. Black. black good. Red. red green, green. Blue. Purple. Good job. And we can paint. Nine yummy circles. What can they be? None. Mmm, blueberries in my cereal. Mm. Ten sweet circles. What can they be? Candy. Ten lollipops. Mmm, <laughs> you lick those. Mmm, mm, delicious. And you can bite them? And then we're all done. Well, we're all done. Good job. Yeah, you want that one? Okay. Come on down on the bench so you don't fall. Yeah. All right, we're going to move on. We are going to do some painting. <gasps> painting! So, make
make room. Yeah, let's make room. And this should be what you had on your craft list. Um, so I have bubble wrap. Bubble wrap. And I'm just going to put a little piece of tape to hold it down. I know, they like to pop bubbles, so do I. Pop, pop. Pop. And I have different colors of paint. So I have blue. Blue. I'm just going to use it on tin foil because then I can just throw it away after. How can I get out? Blue. It's really thick. Pop, 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 pop. And next. Purple, my favorite color. My favorite color. Yours too, Hannah? Yeah. Sort of a lilac color. Yeah. Right. And last one is? Oh, orange. I popped it. You did pop it. All right, that one came out fast. Hi. So, Hi. now we have a car. It's got wheels on it. So we're going to run it through the paint. It comes through what color? Orange. Orange. And then we're going to run it on the, the bubble wrap. And we're going to make tracks. How are you? Hi. You want to try that? Okay. I'm going to do purple. Oh, somebody beat you to it. I'll let you do this one, Hannah. This is a Lego car. It mm. looks like a dune buggy. Just remember, we're going to run it through. But the neat thing you could do is run it through all the colors so that you have mixed colors and it makes really cool tracks. Kids okay. watch. Kids look it. And afterwards we're going to have a piece of art. It's going to be beautiful. Going up and down. Look at the neat track marks. Let's do one more girls and then we'll move on. You got paint on me. The neat thing is, if you push really hard with your car, you will be popping bubbles as you go. That's cool. I'm going to pop a bubble. Okay, pop a bubble. Pop, pop, pop. Pop, pop. Whoa! Oh, our dune buggy fell apart. No. And our man fell out. <laughs> Let's put him back on. No, he goes like that. All right, one more run, girls. Yay! And then we're going to move on and do something else. Ah! Oh, he fell off again. Good job. <laughs> All right, kids. Ah! Eliana, could you fix it? All right. Okay, so I'm going to use this paper next. We're going to put the cars away so you don't get paint on your clothes. Well, yeah, I do have paint. Hannah? I have paint. All right. Sorry, Papa, for breaking your Lego. All right. So these are just foam blocks. I don't know whether you have those in your house or not. But this is a really easy way to start to learn to draw. Just, just a minute. Grandma's going to draw first. So I'm going to get my marker out. You could just use crayons if you like. And what shape is this? Triangle. No, not a triangle. A Eliana? No. Well, this is a circle, circle in the middle. A square. a square. So you'll do this on the floor, which will be much easier. But I wanted to put it up here so you could see it. So we're going to just draw around the square. Now we could make that square into maybe a building. So what shape am I using now? Triangle. 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 Thanks, Eliana. Oh yeah, no. And it looks like a tower. A tower? Tower. Yeah. Or maybe a house. A house. And then we could draw a door. No. Maybe some windows. Yeah. Okay, another one. I'm gonna use yours, Hannah. Okay, I'll get is it. Is a rectangle. A rectangle. So draw around the rectangle. And then we could make maybe a person using a circle. 
and we have a head. Here, Cadence is showing you how easy it is. She's drawing around the triangle. So this person also needs some arms. This is a pretty big one. Got long arms. Yeah, they're like long arms. And then we could give them eyes and maybe a face. Yep. It looks like he's going to fly away. Yeah. Just an easy way to start drawing, just with foam blocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just fun. He's, he's like an angel. He does. Maybe that's his wings. Yeah. All right, we're going to do some more drawing. So we'll put these away. And this is another block I think you have in your house. These are mega blocks. So with the mega blocks, I thought you could make some puzzles. So we have the roof and the main part of the house with a door. But then you take it apart and you have to put it all back together. I'm, I'm not going to take it all apart right now. But your child can put the block puzzle together. Okay, Hannah, do you want to put that other part of the door in? Where's the door? Oh, there it is. There we go. And we have a house. Now, I used a permanent marker for that. Let me show you. I just used a permanent marker. So it's... It's not going to wipe off, as you can see. There, Cadence put a chimney on my house. Cool. Another one I thought was sort of cool was a person. And once again, I did it with a permanent marker. Or on this side, I'll show you, you can use a dry erase. So I'm just going to do a face, eyes, and mouth. The cool thing about dry erase it just wipes right off. Gone. Yeah. <laughs> but on the body part, you could take it apart. Okay, his feet, his legs, his body, his shoulders, and his head. And then put the puzzle back together and we can have a person again. I think Cadence is going to work on that one. So going along with the body, this is another idea, is just a face. And you can talk about all the parts of a face. We have eyes to see with, ears to hear with, teeth to chew with, and a nose to smell with. So you can take his body apart, take off his tie, his mouth, his nose, his eyes, and his hair. So another puzzle to put together. I want to do this one now. So I have one more to show you. I want to do this one. Hannah, we could do them after, okay? This one is going to tell a picture. So I'm actually going to use paint for this one. What? So we won't be able to touch this one because it'll still be wet. So it's raining outside. And you can use all colors. I'm just using black today just because it's fast. And then on the bottom, we could have puddle. We could have, what's that look like, Hannah? Something you wear when you want to go out in the rain. A sock. A sock. <laughs> or a, a rubber boot. A rubber boot, Eliana says, yes. So we'll, we'll let that one dry, and then you could put the story back together about walking in the rain. All right, one more I want to show you. <coughs> so as you can see, I use stickers just for files. I just cut them up and put them on the blocks. So on the blocks, I'm going to make a child's name so they can start to identify the letters in their name and they will have to put it in the right order. So I'm going to do... H A A B N N N. 
B. A. A. H. H. It spells? Hannah. Hannah. So then you can just take it off, mix it all up, and Hannah would have to put it back in the right order. <laughs> Fun, right? Yeah. Easy, simple. Easy peasy. Easy peasy, as Hannah says. And it doesn't cost any money. Would you like to help blow bubbles? You go with Papa and you can help. Okay, this is called The Bubbles Flew Over the Flowers. Ready? The bubbles flew over the flowers. The bubbles flew over the trees. The bubbles flew over the grass. So many bubbles I see. Bubbles, bubbles, as bubbles can be, can be, can be. Bubbles, bubbles, bubbles pop all around me. <laughs> all right, let's do one little, two little again. We're gonna keep Eliana blowing bubbles. And they even go in your hair. One little, two little, three little bubbles, four little, five little, six little bubbles, seven little, eight little, nine little bubbles, ten little bubbles go up, up, up. All right, ready? Pop those, pop those, pop those bubbles, pop those, pop those, pop those bubbles. Pop those, pop those, pop those bubbles. Bubbles go pop, pop, pop. pop. Woo, they land on your face. I'm gonna All right. Like my face. Are we ready to do our bubble one again? Okay, ready? Help me count. One, two, three. Still blow. Five big bubbles floating all around until one popped when it landed on the ground. Oh no! Four big bubbles floating high and free until one popped when it landed on a tree. Three big bubbles floated quiet as a mouse until one popped when it landed on the house. House, good job. Two big bubbles floated down to land until one popped when it landed in my hand. One big bubble still floating in the air until it popped when it landed in my hair. Good job, everybody. All right, one more bubble song, and then we're going to say goodbye. This is to the tune of Twinkle Twinkle. Bubbles floating all around, bubbles fat and bubbles round, bubbles on my toes and nose. Blow a bubble, up it goes. Bubbles floating all around, bubbles falling to the ground. Well, that was fun today. Thanks for helping out, everybody. And we're going to say goodbye, so say bye from bye. Anna. Bye. Say bye from Cadence. Bye. And bye from Eliana. 
Have a fun spring day, everybody. We will see you next week. We're going to talk about gardens and seeds. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. <laughs>